Hey everybody, just want to show you guys my towers I got growing on, growing uh, lettuce out of this year. That's tower number one. There's tower number two. See, um, it's doing pretty good. Uh, they're made out of coolers. This one here, <clears throat> this is my experimental tower. This is the one I had the heat sink hooked up to and trying to cool it, but I ran into a problem. Actually, it's a big major problem. Setting these out in the direct sunlight, the heat sink actually absorbs that heat and uh, the fan will not keep up, uh, keep cooling it or actually cool it down fast enough to uh, keep the, the cold side cold. So what happened was I ended up burning out the chip. Actually, I burned out two chips trying to get this to work. So needless to say, this will not work outside. Great for indoors, but will not work outdoors. So what I've done here is I stuck a big computer case fan I mean, you can see how big this fan is. It's pretty big. And what I'm doing is, it's pushing cold air, out, so out, outside air, into my house. My reservoir. Sorry about that. And, uh... It's pulling air in, blowing it through the tank, and then I have a couple holes built up near the top that's taking that air and blowing it back through the tower, up through the cups. So actually what it's doing, it's almost like a, uh, a um, evaporative cooler, I guess, but we're not really evaporating anything inside the tank. It's all staying inside. It's just, all it's doing is just venting the air out through the cups. I mean, I can feel the air blowing out through them. So what I've been doing is, I have a little temperature gauge up there. You can see my temperature is 71.8. Actually, I just changed the nutrient solution in it so the water hasn't had time to adjust the outdoor temperature. But you can see this one, this is 72.3. And I have nothing hooked up to this. Um, only thing that's in this is uh, air stone. Let me pull up this up here. All I have in here is an air stone and the pump just circulating everything. All right. So what I'm doing is trying to see what I can do to actually get these things to cool down um, enough to at least keep them outdoors and not have to worry about the temperature. So um, I'm still working on it. And I'm sorry, these are only, these little gauges here, you, I bought these at PetSmart. All, all they are is a uh, fish tank thermometer that has a lead, and I dropped the lead inside. And by the way, these caps here, this is a new design. Let me show you what I did here. I made these caps by hand. Actually, it's three caps. This top one is a 4x4 four solar light post cap um, and I bought this at uh, Home Depot for five bucks for five bucks guys you can't beat it so what I did was the cap below it let me set this down the cap below it is a five by five cap so what I did is I glued this part onto this cap all right now here's the new part I've done shower cap this one here is a 4x4 four four pyramid cap glued on the inside of this cap. And actually what it does is it'll center itself. So all I did is just put some glue around the edge, stuck it in there, and just let it do its thing. I drilled three holes for each side so actually the water's spraying down directly on top of the caps. And all I did was put a straight, or excuse me, a T fitting inside push it through the hole and then hook my tube up to it. The only downfall is 
um, if you need to clean this you're not going to be able to so you might have to let it soak in bleach or something to get the inside cleaned out but it works I'll show you here as you can see all it's doing is just spraying down the nutrients on top of the nut cups all right let me get a better view there you go so that's all that's doing now the solar cap works great you're not going to get a whole lot of light out of it but it's just something a little decorative I thought it was pretty neat looking um, especially at night when these light up and the whole tower you can see them at night and you can see how well it's doing I mean all I'm doing here is just the lettuce I just wanted to make, see how these outdoor cooler would work but again I'm still on a search to see what will work so hopefully this fan will cool down enough to at least keep them outdoors and not have to worry about the temperature but that's my dilemma and I'm just trying to work through it and if I find a work through I'll let you guys know but so far you know it's been doing pretty good we've had a couple hot days and that fan's been working its butt off but it, it works for what it is you know it's just a fan <laughs> so uh, I'll keep you guys updated I'll let you know what's happening here um, like I said I'm trying to work on it when I have time here but it's been kind of hard a lot of projects working on trying to catch up on some things trying to keep up with my garden um, actually I do have a garden I started this year out back and I just haven't showed any uh, video of it yet but if you guys are interested maybe I'll make one just to show you what I'm doing. It's a little urban garden. Everything I'm doing out back is growing out of buckets. So, um, if you're interested, let me know and I'll make a video of it, all right? So here's my tower garden. It's all outdoors. It's doing great. Can't complain. The only thing I have to complain about is the temperature. And, you know, like I said, I'm working on it. So as soon as I find a fix, I'll let you guys know, all right? Just wanted to give you a quick update. There it is. All kinds of lettuce. I think there's like four different kinds of lettuce I'm growing here. Just mixed it up a little bit. So that's it. All right, guys. Any questions, comments, ask them. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Uh, if you like what you see, hit subscribe. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. All right. See you, bye.